Hi everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. My name is Randy. So today we are checking out a clip from a comedian named John Christ. I don't think I've reacted to him before. I have reacted to quite a few comedians on the channel. I have reacted to the full catalog of a few, including Dave Chappelle, Bill Burr, and I've got a lot of Louis C.K. now. Um, anyway, so I'm excited to hear someone new in this clip. is called Men from L.A. versus Men from the South. Never been to L.A., but I know people from L.A. and my best friends spent a few years there. But I certainly know men from the South because I think at this point now I've spent more than half of my life in the South. I've moved a lot. A lot. My dad was in the military. I was in the military, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so I know Southern men, at least quite a few of the varieties, um, but limited on men from L.A. I only know so many. Anyway, without further ado, here we go. Because I love coming out because I love in the South. Ooh, it's so quiet. Okay. Because I love coming out because I love in the South. You know, men here have like skills, like manual labor. They know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? In Los Angeles, everybody's just weak. No one has any skills. Like people uh, here are like real job. What do you do for a living, sir? Retired military. Retired military. Round of applause. That's what I'm talking about. Sure. That's what I'm talking about right there, sir. Yeah. What about you, sir? What do you do? It's a fireman. Round of applause, everybody. It's a fireman. Fireman are good people. Fireman. Generally. I like that. What's your name, my man? Andy. Let's say when you were a kid, it's a little cold outside. You're going outside to play and you're wearing a t-shirt. Your mom's like, Andy, do you need a jacket? What do you say? Nah. <laughs> He'd be outside cold. Blah, 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 blah. He ain't no need no jacket. He's a man. <laughs> let's say you're in like middle school, you're at recess, you get a little tussle with your buddies. You come in with a bloody nose. The I'm going to make it a little bit louder. He talks really fast. I am tempted to slow it down to make sure I don't miss anything. Um, I'm just turning it up a little bit because it says my voice is much louder than his. Buddies, you come in with a bloody nose. The teacher's like, Andy, what happened? What do you say? Nothing. <laughs> I don't know what happened between this generation and kids now. Just excuse me. I have a peanut allergy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm a very weak person. I can't eat peanuts. I can't smell peanuts. I can't even watch Snoopy. I am very... <laughs> like, why the bragging? Snoopy. That's all I'm saying. I know allergies exist. I know it's real. I'm just saying, keep it inside. <laughs> I don't know why these terrorists keep trying to take out big buildings and crowds. Just take out the cell phone towers. We'd all be dead in two days. Oh, no. <laughs> Half y'all wouldn't even know how to get home from here. So many people can't read a map now. What happened? He died in Birmingham. It was at 1%. <laughs> Men are weak. Everybody knows this. Women are by far the stronger sex. We can all agree on that, right? Mm. Men, we're funny. I'm pausing it because I haven't reacted to him before, so I don't know the copyright policies and whether or not it'll get blocked. It will get blocked. Some things, like the Netflix-based ones. You have to pause a lot or they get blocked. Anyway, women are the stronger sex. Definitely depends on in what way. If you mean lifting a piano, uh, generally not. If you mean giving birth, generally yes. <laughs> Men are weak. Everybody knows this. Women are by far the stronger sex. We can all agree on that, right? Men, we're funny because we try to act strong no matter what. Like the other day, my buddies were like eating. They were like, John, we're about to eat. Go start the grill. I was like, all right. I was in the backyard Googling how to start a grill. Oh my goodness. I'm not starting a grill, are you serious? I just, we, I got no, my car was smoking the other day. My dad goes, let me check the engine. I popped the trunk. <laughs> oh my goodness. My dad goes, I can fix this. Go get me the Phillips. I came back with the neighbors. <laughs> goodness gracious. <laughs> Don't explain it. Do not explain it. Listen, she doesn't get that joke, let her go. She doesn't deserve it. <laughs> oh no. I'm weak. I'm the first guy. I mean, I got no skills at all. I tried to, I had to call AAA the other day because I couldn't open my gas cap. That's where I'm at. Couldn't, I have too much moisturizer on my hands. I couldn't. <laughs> you know, when you pump gas, you click it and the, and the gas pumps for you. I was at a gas station. The clicker was broken. I had to take like three breaks. So I was just like. <laughs> no skills at all. Goodness, that scared me. Wow, my heart just jumped. That music that just kicked on was much louder than his voice. And that surprised me. 
That clip was definitely too short. I would have liked to have he heard more of what he said. It's really sad about the Phillips that he didn't get the thing. I'm a female, although I was a tomboy, so it's I understand what the Phillips is. I was using one earlier today. I have sawdust on me from building something. Anyway, um, I'm going to guess that he is the example of Los Angeles and that that is what he is saying is that a southern man is a bit more capable with manual things such as fixing a car generally speaking compared to someone maybe who grew up from in LA where things are closer maybe you don't even have to I, I don't know what public transit is like there but I know in the south generally speaking there's not a lot of public transportation things are more spread out depending on where you are um so you have to know how to maintain your you know vehicle and things like that but I would have liked for that clip to have been a little longer and heard a little bit more of what he said. So let me know in the comments if there are any other clips from him that you think I should watch or other stand-up comedians that you think I would enjoy. Thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.